Each one of us could be one prescription away from an opioid addiction. That's the message from former NFL player Ray Lucas, who spoke today at a conference in Atlantic City put on by the Partnership for a Drug-Free New Jersey. Lucas shared his story of overcoming an opioid addiction after leaving the NFL. And as Ted Goldberg reports, he warns of the pitfalls that can face other young athletes struggling with pain. I'm not afraid of any man, gun, knife. You can bring anything you want to me. I'll step right to you. But I am afraid of a little circle hill, like I'll run for the hills. When Ray Lucas played in the NFL, painkillers helped him through the hurt that came with an eight-year career. You do what you have to do to stay on the field. If you're in the training room, you're in danger. After graduating from Rutgers and playing professionally, Lucas says he got addicted to opiates almost immediately after retiring. I had a serious back injury. I had four and five fused together with a four inch, uh, two inch steel plate, four screws, and they took three completely out. I've had seven spinal fusions. He's spoken about his struggles for more than two years, and his latest stop was the Golden Nugget in Atlantic City. Lucas was one of the speakers at a conference hosted by Partnership for a Drug Free New Jersey focused on preventing young athletes from becoming addicted to opioids. It's scientifically proven that adolescents are 10 times more likely to become addicted than grown men. I was a grown man when I became addictive, and it happened like that. Youth athletes are prone to injuries, and because of that, they were at a greater risk of being prescribed an addictive opiate. Experts presented grim statistics about the opioid epidemic. Even as more people are aware of risks, and Narcan has become more available. It's the leading cause of death for Americans between the ages of 18 and 45. And if you think about that, if you break that down per day, over 112,000 Americans dying, that's over 300 people a day are dying. I'm very much of a holistic person, so I completely disagree with how doctors prescribed opioids. It's such a strong medication and like it's like we saw today, like it is killing so many people. And I feel with as a physical therapist, it's very holistic as you're using exercise as a form of medication. Melanie Gerardo is a student at Felician University and came here with some of her classmates. When told a lot of young people get addicted from dental treatment, Gerardo had personal experience with that. I had gotten my wisdom teeth taken out and my doctor actually prescribed me opioids, but being that I was a minor, my mom didn't let, let me. So because she said no, I actually didn't end up taking the opioids. Instead, I took ibuprofen and I had, I had no pain because I was taking ibuprofen. Your doctors, when they prescribe you an opioid, because they really don't understand the risks and benefits. And your mom may have, by telling you not to take that prescription, may have, may have saved your life. There was some good news from today. Brandeis University professor Andrew Kolodny says in recent years, fewer infants are born with opioid dependency, though it's leveled off a bit since the pandemic. As for Lucas, he says he'll continue speaking to young people about the dangers of opioids. I'm paying it back. And in addiction, you have to pay it back. You cannot get what I got and then not share it. I was conditioned my whole life not to ask for anything. If you can't go get it yourself, then you don't deserve to have it. My saying now is, when you ask for help, that's courage. And Lucas will keep sharing his message to anyone who wants to listen. In Atlantic City, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News. Support for the Medical Report is provided by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross Blue Shield Association.